stir fry at least once a week in my household and the main reason is it's super fast and really tasty and there are so many different combinations that you can create. Today it's my eggplant and prawn stir fry. So let's get on with the eggplant first. We just want to cut it into cubes. So start with big slices and we just want to dice just like this. So my wok, it needs to be screaming hot. I'll add some peanut oil, so about two tablespoons of oil. You can see how hot that is. That's what we're after, and in it goes. Now, when you're cooking like this, make sure that you invest in a good quality wok, something that's non-stick, just like this, especially when you want to make a big stir fry like I'm making here. More surface area, which means the faster this eggplant's going to cook. So let's give it a quick toss. And this is going to take, you know, one to two minutes just to soften. In that time, we can prepare our prawns. So I've got about 500 grams of prawns here, raw prawns that I've deveined and peeled. We're going to place them into a bowl and we want to give them some flavour. So I've got some sesame oil here. In it goes. And I want a little bit of chilli. So I've got some chilli oil here, one tablespoon of chilli oil. Or you can add a little bit more if you'd like it, a little bit spicier. Now with your microplane, one knob of ginger. We want to finely grate that in. I don't want to chop it. I want this ginger to be nice and fine. So using a grater like this is the best option. So we get it really minced well. We are adding a lot of ginger to this recipe, but it's not only going to season our prawns, it'll also go throughout the whole dish and into our noodles when we cook them too. In that goes with one clove of garlic. We can just mince this again, just to make life a lot easier. Perfect. And we'll scrape that off. And just with a spoon, we'll give that a really good mix, just to distribute all those oils, the chilli and the garlic. All right, I've got a plate here, and I'm going to remove my eggplant here. It's almost cooked. It's softened nicely. So just take all of them out, pop our wok back on the heat, make sure it heats up again, and now it's time to add our prawns. So in they go, and they're only going to take one minute on each side. We're also going to be adding some noodles to this. I've got some Singapore noodles here. We just need to rehydrate them and soften them in some water. So I can just use one packet for this, it's plenty and just some hot water and we'll just leave them for one minute just to loosen up. All right, while our prawns are cooking, we'll just give them a quick toss. Let's turn these over. Gorgeous colour. These are actually going to be a little bit smoky. As you can see, they've got beautiful, crispy sides to them. Let's get on to our sauce now. So I've got a few ingredients. It's a very easy recipe to remember. Everything is two tablespoons. So oyster sauce, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, along with some shaozing wine, two tablespoons, and a little bit of sweetness. I've got some honey, again, two tablespoons. I like my sauce to be a little bit thick, so I've got some corn flour here, and we just want to dilute that with just a touch of warm water, just a dribble to make a paste. We'll mix that together. That can go in. Give it a mix. And for some more acidity, I just have one lime, so we'll just cut that in half and give that a really good squeeze. Okay, so it's now time to bring all of this together. We can add our eggplant straight back into there. Give that a toss. We can add our sauce now, so in with the mixture. And we just let that reduce a little bit. That thickness has turned this almost into a glaze, so everything is coated and golden. I've got some dried shiitakes here, about six that I've rehydrated in some warm water. We'll sprinkle them in with our noodles, which are perfectly cooked now. And I'll just separate them. Again, quick toss, coating all those noodles in that delicious sauce. Look at the colors in there. Some cashew nuts work really well here. Just one handful, say two handfuls and some spring onions. And that is as simple as it is. So just on an angle, we're going to slice these, only the white part, big handful. Leaving your shallots right to the end is really good because I want to keep them really crunchy. We'll stir them in and we'll start to serve this. We'll make sure everyone gets a few prawns 
the eggplant there, which has softened nicely. It's all silky and the crunchy nuts there. Perfect. Might add one more prawn for good luck. And I can't wait to dig into this. I'll just get a fork and have a taste. What a sensational stir fry. You know, the earthiness of eggplant, mushrooms, usually you wouldn't think would go with fresh seafood like prawns, but it works really well. And the addition of noodles, well, that's a meal in itself. 15 minutes, done.